You can turn on or off the visibility for any layer in your document by going to the visibility column on the left hand side. Shown here, the eyeball symbol indicates that particular layer is visible in the canvas. Click on it with the left mouse button and it will disappear. And then so does the icon in the layers panel too. Nothing else about that layer will alter in the stack. If you wish to reveal that content once more, click on the empty space. The icon and the artwork will then reappear. It's essential to know that when you output for screen, web or print, if a layer is hidden, it will not appear in the finished artwork. With the Surf logo layer now active, if I go to the opacity value, we can vary how visible something is. You can either type in a value here, say 50%, or you can click on the pop art arrow and then drag the slider. At 100% here, the layer is fully opaque and it's highly likely that you won't be able to see through that content to whatever lies behind in the layout. But set to zero, that content's invisible and it'd be the same as clicking on the visibility column. I'll drag that back up to 100 and then click away. Lower down in my layer stack, you'll notice we have some surfboards. They actually have some effects applied to them, denoted by the FX symbol. They're hidden at the moment, but you can click on the arrow adjacent to it to reveal them. So it tells us that we have effects applied. And in this case, it's just a drop shadow. If I zoom into that region here, so we can see it more clearly, you'll notice that you can turn off the visibility for a single effect. Notice it disappears in the artwork. You can click in the empty space just to the left hand side to reveal that single effect. If you wish to remove multiple effects that might be applied, then click on the symbol next to the word effects and everything will disappear. If I click on the layer called surfboard to make it active, go to the opacity value at the top of the layers panel and reduce it, it will affect not only the content in that layer, but also the layer effects. However, if I go to the fill option and reduce its value, only the content stored in the layer will start to disappear. Notice that the drop shadow is fully visible. That's the key difference between opacity and fill. And those are the visibility options you have in the layers panel for Photoshop.